up. We're in a hundred feet of water. We haven't caught a thing yet, but it's a nice day. It's starting to get a little breezy, but not bad. This is what we're running here. This is a dipsy diver. It uh, helps get your stuff down deeper and a little bit to the side of the boat. If you have a bigger boat, the noise of the boat might scare the fish a little. This gets it off to the side where they can't hear you. Just put the leader to the back of the snubber. And basically, that'll ride through the water sideways. And yeah, you can see how it pushes and it's got a weight on the back of it. That helps it dive at the same time. So yeah, pretty nifty. Ready to send her? Send her back to zero. Loosen up drag. Hold on a second, let me see that dipsy. I want to see what it's set at. miles offshore uh, actually I can tell you right now how many miles many many miles but it would be cool to fish it right now we are directly offshore to the closest point just under three and a quarter almost four miles Sunday morning. Plenty of bait. There's so many fish down there. Caught a couple the other night out here, but nothing yet so far today. We'll see how long we can stick it out with the wind picking up a little bit. We got four dipsy divers, all with Dreamweaver spoons on them. Actually, I think a couple of them are contenders, but uh, Dreamweavers are the ticket. Gotta have the uh, the bright colors and get them down to the bottom. That's how you catch a lake trout. Nothing really crazy about it. Just get down there and get something they can see. That's about it. Put your dipsy in the mud. Mud diver. There's probably eight other boats out here right now and we are the only boat under about 30 feet, <laughs> feet. We're in a 14-footer. Everybody else is floating big tubs out here. We're in a little tomato soup can. Does the trick. Well, let's make her happen. Take it, yeah, take it down there. See what goes on. We're hooked Cameron. up. We're hooked up. Cameron. Here, turn that music off. Cameron, we are hooked Finally up. got hooked up. I'm gonna bring this one in. That's a good fish. Yeah. So we were letting it out and it was, what? How many, how many feet you got out? I'm at 288 right now. Oh, so it was just about all the way out when he hit, but it and was he, on the way out. Yep, and he took about 40 foot yeah, he took right off the bat. Real quick. He's It'd just be a good fish. He's just putting his nose down. I'm gonna clear all the rest of the rods and give us all the room we can. <laughs> Phone's ringing. What's happening, Papa? Hey, what you doing? Oh, I'm hooked up to a lake trout right now. Oh, is that right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me call you back in a little bit. Perfect time for Grandpa to come out. <laughs> Hooked up with a leg ring on. We've been waiting all morning for this. He's a good one too. You can't even gain anything on him. Take it easy, Gav. 
all the time you need. It don't get dark for about 14 hours. Just gotta pull his head up a little bit. Oh yeah. He ripped it right Yeah, there. look at look at. Yeah, baby. Gonna be a good fish. How's your drag? Take a feel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll start playing them with the motor once I get this rod in. I don't want to hook up with two, so we're going to get rid of this. Finally hooked up, baby. Took a long enough, huh? Yeah. We got out of the boats, came a little east. Got out of the boats, tangled up. Tangle wasn't too bad. No. Nope. Just had to re rig everything real quick. We're out here on the real, little Just, red one. Yep, the little 14 footer that could. We hooked that one up in 90 feet of water. We're about four miles offshore, Lake Erie, out here in. Uh, Northeast, that's a good yank right there. Did he just pop? No. Keep that rod tip in the air. Okay. These. We're gonna catch this fish. Start gaining on him now. Just put that spoon on there. Just came out of the. That's box. the Mac Daddy spoon, isn't it? No. No? Nope. That spoon just came out of the box. That's the one with the red nose. All right, we're gonna fight this fish now, baby. All right, it's probably been about three, four minutes and I gained about seven feet so ready, far. Gav? Yep. Keep that rod tip up. He's about to go on another Keep that run. Rod tip up. You're in neutral. Wheel if you gotta. Right, keep reeling. Good. Keep me updated. Yep. You ain't a big fan of that. Oh. Keep that up there. Mine. There's also a dipsy on there, so it's always going to feel heavy. Yeah. How much line? 215. 215. 215 still? Yeah. 208. I'm going to try to circle and go back south. Man, he's tugging, huh? Yeah. This isn't even the ultralight, is it? No. He's yanking on it. Holy cow. This fish is not happy. So it's 10.15 on the nose right now. We'll update you when we get him in. It's probably been a good six minutes. Diver with a Dreamweaver spoon on it. That's green, silver on the side, green and silver on the sides, and on the nose, it has a red nose with a black eye on it. I forget the name of the spoon, but basically lake trout fishing just put something out there that's bright and they can see and get it in front of their nose. They're laying on the bottom, so figure out a way to get to the bottom with your dipsy diver and bada boom, bada bang. It takes you about four hours and you get a bite. <laughs> This fish is fighting. I haven't seen a lake trout fight like this in a while. I don't have a scale, but we'll take picks real quick, throw it back. Getting a little easier. 
Yeah. Usually when the fish come up a little higher, they kind of get a little more lethargic. So yeah, it's getting a little easier on us. We're in 102 feet of water right now. And I'm 110 back. Yeah, it's getting a little easier. So we do, we come out on Sunday mornings and we attack. <laughs> Came out two days ago, caught two. All right, how you doing? 96. Neutral me. Really gaining. Yeah. 50 back. All right, I'm gonna get ready. Thirty. These leaders are long, so you're gonna have to help me. Yep. I got the fifty. Oh, a nice fish. Holy cow, is it a nice fish? Hang up. You gotta go to this side. Go to this side. Nothing good there. there. Just keep coming to me. It's a hog. Holy cow. Keep coming my way. They don't say you can't no more. Bring him to me. The hog daddy. Bring him to me, Dad. We got him. <sighs> we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Give me a That's a nice that. fish, baby. That's a nice fish. Uh, he's going to be close to 18 or so, I bet. I don't have a scale. We're not going to mess around with them. We'll get some pictures. Gavin, go ahead and grab him. I'll take some pictures. Go ahead. 15 to 18 pound lake trout. Ready? Good fish, hold on, let me get some pictures of this. Good life. He's going, he's good. He's good. Yep, I've seen him swim away right there. There he goes. Let's go! Yes! Get sir. slimed! Yes! Get sir. slimed! Let's go! <laughs> I mean, come on. Look at that. Enough bait for you? What do you say? Is there a enough little, bait down there? A little bit, a little bit of bait. Those are Jeez. probably uh, emerald shiners, or uh, smelt, gizzard shad, more than likely emerald shiners. Goodness gracious, let's, uh, let's get another rod bent here.